joint. How many times have I complained about that mongrel using my front garden as a toilet? Sam is not a mongrel. Oh, and this, this is... Shit. It's human. It's part of a finger. I'm getting the days in. Simon Joyner. Any idea where your dog got this? I'm not sure. There's some abandoned buildings out the back. I mean, he goes through the fence sometimes. Huh. Thought he just went in my yard. We're checking out the land over the back. Some sort of factory development that never got off the ground. Be a big search. Oh, well. Let's make it easy on ourselves, then. Where's your dog? How do you know it's a she? The rings plus the pelvic structure. Now she had dark hair. They're saying five foot seven, and we'll know more when they finish the on-site assessment. It's a blunt instrument trauma to the head and face. So, so a very messy death. Um, Stanley, I, oh, I mean, mean, what's going on there? I don't know. Oh, Matthew, what have you done? No, no, it looks like my promotion's come through. Back to uniform for you, mate. Matt, one moment. Told you. Get used to the colour. See you mugs in my office, eh? mother, isn't it? He told you about her disappearance? Yeah. When? Doesn't matter, does it? He never said anything to us. Well, it's not something he likes to talk about. His mother? She disappeared 16 years ago. And was there a murder inquiry? It became one, yes. It's unresolved. It's definitely her. The crime scene found her purse buried with her along with her driver's license inside, and her wedding ring had an inscription on the inside, IR and CR. Isabella Ryan, Callum Ryan. Yeah, we'll have more information when they examine the body, but there's no question it's her. I'll, uh, I'll see how it is. Do you want us to pull up the old case files, Sergeant? They're already on the way over, as is the original case officer. Who is it? His name is Bolt. Uh, he's with organised crime now, DSS Bolt. Bloody hell. How's it going here? Feeling any better? Nothing like a good spew. Sorry. Don't even think about asking me to let you work on this. I don't want to work on it. I spent 16 years with it. So it's my dad. I'll have to take some leave so I can be there for him, Sarge. It's a good idea. Very sensible. Take as long as you want. Besides, I don't know what I'd do if I ended up face to face with whoever did it. I'm sorry, man. I'm really very, very sorry. You get this bastard, Sarge. You get him and you put him away. Me and Dad are hurt, Dad. Great. Senior Sergeant Bold. I know you, don't I? Do you? Come on, Linda. Come on. Stanley? Yeah, sorry, I was parking the car. What is it? Uh. Look, darling, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it tonight. Um, I'm going to be here until late. How late? 
Well, uh, something's come up with, uh, there's a situation with... With Maddie. No. Don't explain it to me. You explain it to your daughter. Again. Linda? Oh, shit. Stanley Wolf, Adam Bolt. There's been a development on a case of mine. The Ryan House. The store where the victim was last seen. And now, finally, the body. Isabella Ryan left home. She went down to the shops to buy something that she needed for dinner. The balsamico. That's right. Vinegar. She never came home. We found a car exactly nine hours after we got the report from missing persons. It was five suburbs away. The body we never found. Now, finally, we have. And so close to the store, the location supports a theory of mine I developed at the time, which you're probably already aware of. Isabella Ryan was murdered by her husband, Callum Ryan. Oh, come on, Natty, I've got a half bump for the next race. You've already put your bed on, right? Right, and I'd like to see him bloody run. Well, Nicky, come home with me, Dad. Something's no, happened. It and we... starts in a couple of minutes. This is important. Not a lot more important than a 40 to 1 shot. Now, Dad, a couple of beers. Bet. Aren't you supposed to be at work? I was at work. We got some news, Dad. They found Mum's body. Theories. Where's his bloody evidence? Maybe that dog just turned it up. Callum Ryan did not kill his wife, Simon. Bolt's theory sucks. Now, I know none of you want Bolt to be correct, but you're going to have to earn the right to hold that opinion, Duncan. Bolt's files. Well, his day books, they're thorough, and his case notes are meticulous. The evidence is circumstantial. Summarise, Simon. Matt's father has no alibi. He was in the mini-mart five minutes before his wife buying a packet of smokes. He'd been drinking. He told the shopkeeper he was heading off home, but he didn't get home for two hours. It's a five-minute walk. So, what was he doing for those two hours? Or murdering his wife, according to Bolt. We're not taking this theory of Bolt seriously, are we, Sarge? Read Bolt's files. The marriage was rocky. When Callum Ryan got home, he was upset, agitated. He had scratch marks on his cheek, and he could not adequately account for those past two hours. You don't think he killed his wife? Good. Get out there and prove it. Talked to the police a lot about this over the months, both me and my son. Excuse me. Besides, yeah. I knew her and Callum. They were regulars here. We used to have a few drinks together down at the Gaelic Club. You served her? No, no, that was my son Liam. Uh, Liam, you got a minute, mate? Yes. Yeah. Was Callum Ryan in here that night? Yeah, yeah. I told the detective at the time. He uh, came in a few minutes earlier. He bought smokes, and I served him. How was he? Wow. Well, yeah. A few under his belt, but not aggressive. Nothing like that. Uh, Dad, is the washing powder on special? No, mate, not the last time I looked. You've got to watch that one. She's always trying to get something marked down. Um, Liam, this is the police. Uh, they're about Mrs. Ryan. Right. That was years ago. Yeah. We found her body. You were the one that served her that night? Yeah. And what happened? Nothing. Um, she came in, bought a bottle of vinegar, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. It was a hot night, it was a heat wave. She was flustered, she was in a hurry. She paid and left. That's it. I should, um... Right, well, you take care of your customer. We'll ask you a few more questions later. Yeah, no problem. You knew the Ryans fairly well, you say? Yeah, yeah. So how did they get along with each other? Fine, just fine. As long as Callum wasn't drinking. Detective. Just checking a couple of things out. Yes, thanks. I've been freezing my nuts off. Bloody legend.
is this, you dickhead? Sorry, Sergeant. I thought he was one of your blood. What do you think you're doing? Looking at this grave. Is that a problem? Oh, you were a homicide. Oh, bloody hell, you were a kid. Her son. Matt Ryan. You had a detective bolt. I'm sorry for your loss, son. But you got no right to be here. This is a crime scene. I know what it is. You're in the job. That's why you're at the lift. You're a detective now? Homicide. A lot can happen in 15 years. I just hope I'm a better detective than you ever were, Paul. Take a minute and then get out of here. You made my dad's life a misery for a year. Then he took another 15 trying to deal with it. I said I'm sorry for your loss, and I meant it. That's why I still aim to close this case. Is that right? Yeah, whatever it takes. Whoever goes down. You tell your mates that too, OK? They try and cover your ass or treat them as accessories. <laughs> my ass? Was this still my father's? Get out of here. I'm looking at my mother's grave. I'll leave when I bloody well please. Gentlemen, I am not going to do a King Solomon. It is up to you to sort this issue out yourselves. No one is subverting this investigation. Or do you expect me to believe that your guys will chase down every detail, regardless of the outcome? Those are their instructions, yes. Ma'am, the only suspect is their friend's father. We are all professionals here, Bolt. And professionally speaking, this is no longer your investigation. However, ma'am, as you say, professionals work together for the best outcome, so I would like to formally request the inclusion of Detective Bolt as part of my team for the rest of the investigation. Fine, let's do that. We are all after the same thing, the truth. When I asked for a crime scene to be secured, I expect it to be secured. And it has been. No one told me Matt Ryan was to be denied access. I'm telling you now. Fine, it's noted. Anything else? No. Thank you. You're kidding, right? You're resigning. It's none of your business. Yeah, well, I'm making it my business. What's this about? What? Matt's mum. Hey, this is just another case. That's how we have to deal hey, with it. It's not that. Leave it, all right? Does anyone know what Matt was doing at the crime scene? Did he say anything to any of you? No. Why are you looking at me? Well, it's natural that you want to see where she was, isn't it? Yeah, same as Bolt after looking for her all that time. The guy's like a terrier. He's bloody obsessive, if you ask me. Bolt is a good detective. Yeah, with a lousy theory. Maybe, maybe not. You haven't come up with any useful alternatives, have you? Bolt's not happy. He believes that we are protecting Matt's father. Aren't we? No, we are not. We are investigating the case, but not for much longer if Matt can't keep his nose out of it. Talk to him. Bolt's a prick. He hounded my dad for months. Matt, you have to trust us to deal with this. You can. Signorina, more cafe. No, 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 thank you so much. Zia, Zia, she's got to go to work, yeah? Okay, thank you. Thank you. I wasn't trying to muscle in on the investigation. I meant what I said to Wolfie. I don't want any part of it. Okay. I'll try and keep you in the loop. Uh, you could do a bit more than that for me. For Dad, really, not me. He wants to spend some time with her remains. Matt. Simon had that thing a while back with that girl from the morgue, Madison something. Maybe he could talk to her, get us in there. You're crazy. What if Bolt finds out? I don't care if Bolt finds out. Well, Stanley will find out. This is for my dad, Jen. He needs this. All those years. He needs it. It's not for me, but it's for Matt's dad. Well, you're going to owe me, Simon. Did I? At least.
Ryan did not murder his wife. Now, you're assuming that. Start acting like a detective. I think she's right. I saw him weep for her, I believed it. Yeah, because you wanted to. Let's be clear here. You hate what I propose, so you don't trust me. And consequently, I don't trust you. Well, we've talked to the guys at the store. They still say what they said back then. But that doesn't mean anything, mate. I've been through your case notes, Detective Bog, and I'm sorry, but when you look at them from an unblinkered perspective, they are a classic example of tunnel vision. You decided that Callum Ryan was your man, and you set out to prove that. You ignored his statement. What statement? What, that he had an argument with his wife? That he'd gone out and bought a bottle of vodka? Think about it. What about that couple he said he saw arguing in the park? He tried to intervene, they turned on him. He made them up to explain the scratches on his face, his dirty clothes. You know, you bury someone, makeshift, you're gonna get dirty. You argue with someone, you struggle with them, you're gonna get scratched. The couple didn't exist. You didn't even look for them. I looked! No, you didn't! Calm down, that is enough. Thank you. The only people we could interview, we interviewed. They were the guys in the shop and the victim's husband and her son, your colleague. Our friend. Maybe that's the problem here. Read the notes again. No one else saw anything. No one knew anything. You know, you say I'm blinkered, but hey, I don't see your mate and his father back in here being re-interviewed, do I? Why is that? Detective Bob, uh, could you give us a minute, please? Yeah, sure. Get a coffee. Fuel up. He's right. What? Come on. He's right. We need to get Matt and Callum back in for another interview. However painful it may be for them, however much we want Callum to be innocent, we must remain open to the possibility that he is not. No, Sarge. Let's see what we can do to find this mystery couple. Bob couldn't find them back then. What chance have we got to find them now? Buckley's. Try. A new interview with Callum might help us find them. And we have new evidence, don't we? The body, any artefacts that may be with it. And later on, possible DNA left by the offenders. Let's look into all of that. Let's do our job. You know, I really hope we can crack this, mate. Because if we come up empty-handed, I won't be able to look Matty in the eye. How are you going with that forensic file? Contents of a purse, not much. Take a look. There's some uh, spare change, shopping dockets. Driver's license, Medicare, one credit card. No. It's not a choice, Matt. OK, then. Talk to me, but leave Dad out of it. He's been through enough. You know we can't do that. We're going to have to interview you again, Mr Ryan. And... Adam Bolt has insisted on being present. Jesus, it's starting all over again. It's OK, Matty. Yes, it will be, because Bolt won't be there. I'll talk to him. I, I've got nothing to hide. Dad. I'm not scared of him. Not anymore. Callum John Ryan. And you're the husband of the deceased Isabella Maria Ryan? Yes, I am. And did you kill her, Callum? No, I did not. Mr Ryan, can you tell me what you were doing the night your wife disappeared? I went for a walk. We had an argument because I'd forgotten to pick up a bottle of vinegar on the way home. <sighs> vinegar. It was a stupid argument. I left. To pick up the vinegar? Told her to get it herself. I think that was the last thing I said to her. What did you do? I went and bought a bottle of vodka, sat on a park bench, got pissed. And you stayed there the whole time until you went home? No. I ran out of smokes, so I went to the shop to get some more. Your people found cigarette butts. In the park, yes. Hundreds. They could have been anybody's. Were the butts retained in evidence? Yes, Sarge. Bolt applied for DNA testing three times all up. He was turned down every time. Too many butts, too many other oh, testing priorities. Cigarettes. Apply again. Sarge. Went back to the park, finished the bottle. Still didn't want to go home. In your original statement, you said that there was a young couple in the park. And they were fighting. Not at first they weren't. They were all over each other. It turned nasty. 
They started arguing. He slapped her. I went over and said something. That's when she scratched my face. And what did you do then? I went home. Let them do it. And when you got home... Describe this man. Fair. About six foot. Six foot? Because last time we talked, you said he was about your size. Did I? It was a long time ago. What I said then is probably more accurate. Or oh, you can't remember the lie. I'm not lying. I put it to you that you ran into your wife somewhere outside the shop, that you got back into your argument, you were drunk, you lost it and you killed her. You beat her to death. You did this, didn't you? You're didn't way out of line, Bolt. I loved her. Did he? Yes. It was a volatile relationship. They loved each other. Volatile? He hit her? Italian Irish. They shouted a lot, but to my knowledge, he never hit her. Even when he was drinking? Even then. What was your father's demeanor? Your father get drunk a lot? Then? Often. Now? Hardly ever. Apparently, he started drinking big time when he got back from Vietnam. Nobody helped him. A lot of people abused him. Mum tried to help him sometimes. That upset him. On that night... Upset him? Or made him furious? It upset him. Excuse me, Sarge. Yeah. Your wife's on the phone. She says it's important. OK. Well, let's just I'll take a message. Your father was on that night. He'd been drinking when he got home. Yes, he still had the bottle. Yeah. Why? Why did he bring it home if it was empty? It was a third full. You know that. You took it. Had it examined. Uh, actually, Matty, when we spoke to your father, he told us that it was empty. That he actually finished the bottle in the park. Then he was confused, made a mistake. He didn't kill my mother. So where was he, Matt? He told you. The park, the couple. We put out requests. Press, TV. No one came forward, no couple. Maybe they were having an affair. They... Look, I don't know. You never bothered to find out. I tried. Your friends are trying again as we speak. Any joy yet, Freeman? No. So, why didn't you call the police when she didn't come home that night? Why did you wait until the next day? You answer the question, detective. You know the answer. Well, let's hear it again. For everyone. Dad told me not to. He said she'd probably gone to Auntie Bruna's. She'd get over it. Come home. But she didn't, did she? should have seen that he had the folder with the, with the photos. Yeah, you should have. Dockets, change, license, cards. I don't get it. Look at the dockets. All kept in one compartment. Shoe repair, video store, supermarket, a car park docket for two dollars. Mm, and? It's what's not there. Isabella Ryan kept her dockets out of habit, but she doesn't have one from the minimart that night. They said she bought the vinegar. Do they issue dockets to these places, or did they back then? Well, even if they didn't, where is the vinegar? They said she bought the vinegar. It wasn't in the car. The killer chucked the purse in the grave with her. It stands to reason that they would have done the same with the vinegar. Unless you like cooking. She has a point. The evidence is still circumstantial. It proves nothing. Uh, from pathology, they finished examining the remains. Apparently, the concrete and plastic help preserve some parts of the body better than others. They've been able to establish a couple of things. Like what? Like she was about four months pregnant. You didn't know? No. I didn't. Do you know if your father was aware of it? No. He never said anything. I can't ask him, Sarge. Not right now.
dead. Yeah, man. Dockets. 16 years ago. I don't even know if we gave dockets 16 years ago. Not for small purchases. What's a small purchase? Two bucks? Five bucks? See, the way I see it, you either issue dockets or you don't. No, not necessarily. Like I said, I don't know if we even gave dockets then. Really? Yeah. Well, we can check with your accountant. See, Isabella Ryan kept her dockets, but we can't find them for vinegar. What brand? What? No, oh, vinegar did she buy? I don't remember. Oh. It was balsamic. You remembered last time they interviewed you? Yeah, but that was years ago. I was 18 back then. You married yet, Mr Callahan? No, I'm still single. Still here. What's that got to do with anything? Oh, come on, what's this about? It's about things that don't add up. Maybe she lost the docket. Liam, your dad just said you didn't issue them. Yeah, well, he's wrong. Really? Oh, well, I just saved us a trip to the accountants. Look, it was a hot night. She was in a hurry. She was upset. Maybe she just forgot to keep it. Women can be really forgetful when they're pregnant. How did you know she was pregnant? What? How did you know she was pregnant? Well, I don't know. She, she told me, I guess. So she told an 18-year-old shop assistant that she was pregnant, but she didn't tell her own husband or son. Look, I don't remember when she mentioned it, OK? He doesn't remember. Yeah, maybe you'll both have better recall in an interview room. You served her? I think so. No, no, you think so. You know so. And so do we. You served her. Oh, I was going to tell about this development. Well, you just were. That's why I called you in. Even back then, people still helped themselves to what they needed. In the aisles? Yes. And she told you she was pregnant? Yes. When? I don't know. It was a long time ago. So what, she just came out of the blue and she said, I'm pregnant, just, just like that? I guess. We'd like to take your fingerprints, Liam. And a DNA sample. Do you have an objection to that? I, I don't understand. Why, why do you need... Because we know you're lying. When we found Isabella Ryan's body, we also found her purse. The one she had when she came into your shop. And we can match your fingerprints to the one on the purse. Or we can get this over and done with here and now. And you can tell us what really happened. Castello Grande. The brand. She taught me how to say it a couple of years earlier. I was closing and she was in a hurry. She already had the pasta boiling and the sauce made. Child. She just needed the balsamico for the salad. Pasta, just need some balsamico. When she got to where the oils and vinegars were, she must have fainted because I, I turned around and she was lying on the floor. It was beautiful. I was 18 and she was beautiful. She woke up, she opened her eyes, and started screaming at me. I don't know what happened now. I, I, I panicked, I, I wanted to calm her down, to say sorry, but she just kept screaming at me. And... So I hit her. I, I hit her a lot of times. I didn't even realise I grabbed a can from the shelf. I just 
beat her until she stopped screaming. Your son told us everything, Mr. Callahan. His involvement and yours. Now we want to hear it from you. I barely got home and Liam phoned me in a panic. Something's happened. You covered her face. So what did you do? We were building the, the complex just a few hundred yards away. We wrapped her up in some plastic and carried her to the site. They'd already dug the footings with the Rio in place to pour the next day. I took out a section of the uh, reinforcement, and then I dug like a trench, just enough to cover it. But God help me, she wasn't dead. We we don't need this. We'd only just laid her in there. And she started struggling and ripping at the plastic and moaning and begging, but it was too late. It was too late. It had gone too far. So, so you, you buried her anyway? She was having a baby. That's why she fainted to start with. She was having a baby. Oh, but we didn't know that. Like your son did. No, no, no. Not at that very bloody moment. Oh, no. Get her out! 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 Get her if it's not about this case, what is it about? Like some prick holding a gun to your head. Or well, Sparty getting shot. Little girls getting raped. People being incinerated. Whole families being murdered while they sat at the table and ate their dinner. Your fiance on a slab in the morgue. Try all of it. Try all of the above. And why don't you try and remember what Sarge said? How we work hard to keep the unsolved list short. This is not just about being obsessive. It's about knowing how important the truth is for the people that are left behind. Yeah, right. Nah, damn bloody right. We're the ones that have to help them through it, Simon. And if that means that we have to deal with a whole lot of crap to do that, then, then we just deal with it. We don't walk around feeling sorry for ourselves. Finally got the truth, eh, Bolt? <laughs> it's not that easy, Senior Sergeant. What about an apology? How about sorry for 16 years of misery? For hounding a grieving man and monstering a kid? I don't know anyone an apology. You screwed up. No, I just didn't have the evidence to work with, that's all. The body, the purse. I did my job with what I had. You know, bloody senseless, this whole thing. And remember this, your old man may not have killed her, but he put her there for it to happen. Oh, mate, mate, come on. That's the sort of stupid thing I'd do. Don't, Matt. No, go on, let him have his go. Jen. Would that make you feel good, would it? Do yourself a favor. 
and get out of here. Nearly blew it there. Nearly doesn't count. So, are you going to tell your father yourself? Not the details, not about the um, pregnancy. We'll be having a wake for Mum, Italian thing, no Irish. <laughs> oh no, but you'd be welcome. Oh, thank you. Did they say what it was? The baby, no. Good. Good. Sorry. I owe you a thank you. What for? The sales docket. Good piece of work. Yeah, right. Broke it open. Did Danny tell you to come in here and say this? What a great job I've done and how I've helped you get over it. No, I just wanted to say thanks. I'll never be over it. Neither will my old man, but now at least... It... I spent 16 years going to a cemetery site, talking to her, knowing she wasn't there. It was a piece of stone, a place to remember her. Now at least she'll be there. Thanks. you'd be at home with your dad. He'll be fine. My aunt's staying over for a couple of days. I haven't been in the shop since Mum disappeared, mate. I wanted to see them. What do you see? They're just ordinary. Yeah, that's the problem. They usually are. You're serious, mate. You're resigning. Oh, I'm thinking about it, yeah. Why? He's doing more than just thinking about it. He's already written a letter. Dunny, mate. Oh, I'm sorry. You'd miss us. Don't bet on it. Oh, you won't have to. There you go. Save you the trouble later. <laughs> sorry, mate. It looks like you're stuck with us. <laughs> yeah, it looks that way. Are we going for a drink? Yeah, you bet. Matt, you coming with us? Uh, look, I'd love to, but I should probably get home to Dad. I thought you said your aunt was with him. Yeah, she is. Yeah, but nothing. Oh, hey. It's your shout. I'm coming. <laughs> Isn't that Simon who pointed out that it's not three musketeers, it's mm. four? Yes. All for one. Five out of the red. 